שלום רא ספרי, שבת שלום, סן בית סלאם, גרידינגס ברודרס אנד סיסטרס, אנד דיס איז א ורי אינטרסטינג סאבת, אי מין, דה קורספונדנס אוף דיס פרטיקולר סאבת, דה נעים איז נוח, אין דה נועה, זה סקנד טור פורשן, אין אוור in our cycle of, uh, of Ethiopian, Hebrew, and Judeo-Christian Torah portion readings and feedings. And um, this is very, very significant, brothers and sisters. So, so stay tuned. We're going to seek to address this. Um, I will... Oh, oh, outside the city, outside the city, that's the walls of Jerusalem, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, classic, uh, true uh, roots reggae, uh, uh, a true sample of music that is worthy to be called the king's music, my brothers and sisters. So, um, uh, wow, walls of Jerusalem, and, and this, is, this is right in tune with the Torah portion readings and feedings and the inspiration of our Godfather and King of Kings. Uh, Inside the tune car, walls of Jerusalem, come again with that tune. And Degena, and Degena, inside Yabiyu, walls of Jerusalem, Aho, 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 Aho. Oh, walls of Jerusalem. Simo, Simo, we'll... I and I, my brothers and sisters, when they hung, when they hung our Adonai, our black Lord and Savior, when they hung Yeshua HaMoshiach, even when they crucified the King of Kings, Kedemawi Hadla Selassie, on this political world, global stage, my brothers and sisters, and now, and now here's, here's where we're at in this, um, in this second Torah portion reading and feedings known as Noch. Now we had left off, actually, we left off with First Peter. First of all, let's just give an overview for this Torah portion. The reason why we did the first part was just to highlight the um, correspondence and the link with, um, with, uh, with this uh, Hurricane Sandy. And Hurricane Sandy, and we want to give uh, due credit. Many are saying this is incredible, but it's, uh, you see, uh, credit is belief, is faith. You understand? And um, it's, it's not about you having faith in the evildoers, but you have to have the knowledge. You always saying you have to receive, you have to have a love, as the scripture says, a love of the knowledge of truth. And this is why this Torah portion is so significant. It's Noah. It's Noah. It's called Noah. Let's um, um, we'll, uh, also, um, you can go to LOJ, Lion of Judah Society dot org and, and, and the five um, 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 portions, Torah portions um, from um from Orit, from um, from Genesis, from Genesis to um, to uh, Deuteronomy, we're now in um, Genesis, which is Bereshit, uh, and is Shemot, is Wayikra, uh, 
um, uh, Bemidbar and Devarim. But we, this is Genesis. This is the second Torah portion reading and feeding in our in our cycle of Torah portion reading and feeding. I think it's significant when we look at well, what date, what time it is, and and what's on the the horizon, what's on the horizon. What's on the horizon is the so-called um, storm of the century. It's a giant, a massive storm. In a sense, it, it, it quite well could be comparable with uh, Hurricane Katrina. Hopefully not. Hopefully this will somehow go out to sea. Hopefully it's not something that's engineered, an engineered storm or people say weather modification. But it goes deeper than even that. And, and, and even ourselves are being brought more, I, I would say, in line and in tune with the true um, message of the scriptures, the message of the Holy Spirit of God. You know, it speaks about, um, it speaks about uh, how the evildoers will, will be able to show false signs, right? They, they will show false signs and, and certain wonders would be given um, to them. We touched on this in, in Thessalonians, all, all lying wonders and powers and revelation speaks about it too so a lot of people say oh wicked weather you know the weathermen they like to use this phrase wicked weather but what's really wicked is that they suppress from the public the fact that since the 1950s um um modern man right the modern anglo-europeans the modern man and other nations have 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 been able to um uh, I call it rediscover. People say that they just discovered it because they're unaware of the of the history that has been suppressed, of the past that's been suppressed. But as we have now the World Wide Web and, and Internet and Daniel Don L's prophecy is is is, is being fulfilled. Yovas um or unsealed actually. Remember the book was sealed. It was sealed if you go to um um Metzhafe Daniel, you know, if you go to the book of Daniel or Tinbite Daniel, you will see that, that part of the prophecy was sealed for a time to come and, and now we're in that particular time. So there's the there's the man of the millennium and now we have the, the, the storm of the century. Right? Now we have the storm of the century which corresponds with our second Torah reading and feeding, which is Noah. Right, which is Noah, last uh, last uh, Samint over the past um, last week we posted um, a, a couple of the vids within the Bereshit, and and the Holy Spirit was guiding our attention to the whole angelic war, you know, the angel war, the fallen angel, the Nephilim leading up <coughs> To the steps of this Torah portion, which is Noah, this Parsha, this Kufal. Now, the the name, of course, refers to Noah, who is the third word, the first distinctive word of this of this Torah portion. And it's the second. This is the second weekly um, Torah portion reading in our annual Judaic and Jewish cycle of Torah readings. Now, it constitutes Genesis chapter six. Uh, verse 9 to Genesis 11, verse 32. And if you look at it, the, you got a 9 11 from verse 9 to chapter 11, right? But we have, we have um, this as the, as the second Sabbath, the second Shabbat, uh, after the Simchat Torah, after the joy of the law. Now for us, it's not like the, the Jews who deny Moshiach, the Jews who deny Moshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to those who deny him, well, they are still reading it with a veil. There's a veil over their eyes. But for, for I and I, for us, Hebrews uh, 10 and 20 is true. It's, a, it's in a new and a living way. So in a new and a living way, we are, we are looking at the, the shadow the, the, the shadow that is that is the Old Testament, but we are able to see it in the New Testament. You know, in other words, the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed, and the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. So we who have received Yeshua, 
we who have received the Moshiach, even Christ in his kingly character. When we're studying the Old Testament, it's not like we did before the 5,500 years were fulfilled. And we also have another vid on what time is it really. And, and here's what's so interesting about this. This is why we think that this, this vid and this um, posting is very important for us to, um, to get posted, to get out there um, to you all. You know, because um, um, because of where we're at right now, right? Where we're at with the elections, with this storm. And now, now, just do a little bit of study on this particular storm. So we have Noah's flood, right? Now we have um, the Noah or Noah, Noah um, Torah portion reading and feedings. And this is 2012. And this is October. And they've been talking about October surprise. And, 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 and we know with the whole polling and everything, this is October 27th. This is the, this is the, 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 not the evening part, but this is the morning part. So this is the early, um, the light is up. What, what time is it about going on, like, say, 10 a.m.? So this is when we're recording this. It's just before 10 a.m. Just, just to note this for the record, because we're not really sure whether this storm is going to go back out to sea whether they're able to um, um, control this storm. People say, no, nobody can, only God can do this. Don't you understand, people? That these are people who who think of themselves as gods. I mean, that's all you've been hearing about um, within the whole Luciferian externalization of the hierarchy in the media, that you are a bunch of gods. You are gods. You, you know what I mean? You are gods. But really, it's... <laughs> the big picture is important and this is why uh, where we're at and, and 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 noah's prophecy or what was said about noah um if you recall right here let's just go through this we were at um second uh peter it was in second peter right second peter and we was touching on what it said we said we're going to start from right there while that loads up let's continue right here so generally this torah portion no is 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 read in october and november now this parsha or this kuffle this torah portion what does it tell us it tell us of the the, the stories of the flood of the flood uh, is, is there any flooding that's in the news right now? All these flooding? Well, well, in a lot of places in the Caribbean, it hit Jamaica. I think it had it, it had hit um, Barbados and then Cuba. Cuba also tore up down in Cuba and been touching down in Florida, right? Um, and they say that it's supposed to come straight up the East Coast and it's supposed to T-bone, right? That's the expression they use. It's supposed to T-bone. Um, some say into the Maryland area, others think it might be the D.C. area um, and, and affect um, uh, D.C., Maryland, um, perhaps Virginia, um, Jersey, New York, perhaps Canada. Some models have it touching down in Maine. But when you get behind it, 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 it really is a Frankenstein or a type of I call like a, a, it's a golem. It's a modern scientific golem, but this is right in tune with what the word tells us, that there would be um, all sort of power and lying wonders, right? And so when you see this weather, it, this is one thing that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit will finish has told us not to attribute every type of storm or everything, you know, when we see a storm happen, the 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 usual response is to say oh god did it and and god did it to show that these people are righteous and these people are wicked and so so from so on that is the conventional i call that the, that's the nominal that's the nominal christian perspective to it that oh it's god that did it but as we start to study and and research and and know the truth for ourselves and and have a love of the truth, whether it's the truth that, you know, whether the information we find, it verifies what we had thought or what we believe or we want to believe. We have to have a love of the truth because remember that um, 
the law was given, Torah was given through Moses, the word says. The law was given, right, by Moses, but grace and truth, doesn't the word say grace and truth came by way? Grace and truth, right, grace and truth came by way of our Adonai, of Adonai, of Yeshua, of the Moshiach. Not just grace. So you have a lot of folks that speak about by the grace of the Lord. I'm saved by grace. I'm saved by grace. And, and yes, that is true. If you receive, if you have faith, if you give it credit, if it's credible, if that is credible to you and you receive it, so be it. But remember, the grace is coupled with truth. You understand? So many of us that may have been brought up to believe certain things. And then it becomes shocking when we recognize that men and people, even the powers that be, the so-called globalists and the Illuminati and secret society and world governments and bankers, uh, uh, Balaam, you know what I mean? That they actually, that, that, that Baal Gad and his uh, the demonic entities and, and the fallen angels and, and the the, the hoodwinked and bamboozled men and people, right, that they have certain technology where they can um, deceive. And, 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 and this, is, this is very interesting if you really start to look at it from, because remember, this is not just a story we're making up. See, if it's a story like somebody writing their own story, it, it tends to have its own little one plot line. But there's so many overlapping plots, really. I mean, or subplots and sub themes. When, when we really start to look at it, when we really start to evidence it, this is why the, our, our Torah portion studies and the readings and the feedings and the meditation and, and the prayer and the and the contemplation on these things really helps us to. Um, steer and to guide through the storm of information because a lot of folks uh, even like brother Alex Jones out there um, um, a, a, a lot of ones sometimes I watch his show and and he gets to the point where it's like he, he's about to have a breakdown you understand and a lot of folks are having breakdowns when they really you know when, when this information really hits them I'm not saying that that is that is wrong, but with the recognize that if we are people of faith, we have to build up on that faith. You understand, and really go past the um, the kindergarten level of our our faith walk and faith admittance to really recognize how what is written in this word in the scriptures in the Bible, because the only thing that cannot be stolen or or killed or destroyed on the face of the earth. Do you know what that is? I've been asking some of the brothers and sisters this recently. So some of y'all who I haven't spoken to and you listen to this, y'all you, most likely will have the right answer. But what's the only thing that cannot be um, stolen or, or, or killed or murdered or destroyed in, in, in the entire earth, right? In, in the entire world even. It's the word of Ha Elohim. I mean, they can give you bad translations and they can try to suppress the book so you don't read it or 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 or, or make you try to make you believe something else. But still, the word right is forever it says heaven and earth will pass away. That's not just like um, <clears throat> somebody. Um, it's not the almighty bragging or boasting. He, he is letting us as his dear children, if we will come to that maturity and another brother had asked me, um, uh, Wyndham, uh, Wyndham Oates, I think, had asked me, he had said, um, it, okay, he's been doing this part of the studies and so forth and so on, so, so what more? You know, almost like one's one, well, well may, maybe they've gone through a year of Torah portion reading and feeding and think like, okay, it must be all done. No, 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 it's not. It's not. This, this, you have to grow up. You know what I'm saying? We, are, we must mature. You see, we must mature, and I'm finding even myself is still maturing. And I say, hallelujah. Not that I thought that, okay, I had made it. Of course not, but you have to recognize that you're still growing. And when we start to look at the fact of 
some of these weather modifications slash weather control, whether it's the harp, whether it's these satellites. And it's very interesting that just um, uh, about a day or so ago, they had um, some news about a link up with either Russian, the Russian cosmonauts had linked up with the American and the Western astronauts. I think the Chinese, we saw another vid where it seemed like a Chinese, some of the Chinese astronauts had, uh, or cosmonauts, I don't know if they call them cosmonauts or astronauts, they had linked up with the Russians and the Americans. So all of them are linking up in space and this is whole space wars. That's also, we got a couple of vids that we've put out a couple of years ago. I think they might still be there on LOJ Society on the doc vids. So, and you can probably, of course, maybe find a lot of this, even more stuff now is out there on the on the internet. You can check with uh, Alex Jones site, also on this and the other sites where they have been, even I think Steve Quayle, another, another one that you should listen to and check out um, a very good researcher as far as um, is exploring. I check out the ones who explore the truth. You understand? Even if it's from so-called unconventional areas. But a lot of this is being suppressed in the regular um, media because they don't want you. They want you to be sheeple. You understand the so-called globalists. They want you to be cattle. They think of you as, like Ted Turner said, as useless eaters. And even Jones brought it out, Alex Jones brought it out that um, they said it was good, you know, Ted Turner was like, it's, it's good if if the American soldiers commit suicide, basically. And and he tries to use roles not about war, you know, and we should be loving and peaceful and so forth and so on. So, you know, the deception, deceivableness, as I'm just to keep thinking of, of Thessalonians when it's talking about... Um, Let's see if we can go to Thessalonians. Um, I think it's Thessalonians. We'll come back to this right here in Peter on Noah because it keeps coming to my mind. It's like the Holy Spirit, you know, will remind you of something. And many times it's, it's, it's good for for us to um, it's good for us to look these things, you know, to look these things up for ourselves. Right here, the Second Thessalonians, Hula Tenya, Water Thessalonica, Sawoch, Miraf Ahulet. It's in this chapter right here. Um, uh, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of Adonenu Yeshua HaMoshiach and by our gathering together to him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Moshiach is at hand. Right. And it's, and, and, and it was saying to the Christian at that time, because many had believed, you know, there was different. It's, it's like today. There's a lot of different people who who read the Bible, study the Bible, believe in the Lord from whatever um, uh, denomination or school of thought. And they're putting out some sincerely others with with, with uh, another agenda that's not pretentiously in other words as it says everywhere christ is being preached in sincerity by some and, and pretentiously by others but so be that the main thing is let no man deceive you by any means right because for the deceivers they're like by any means we're going to deceive these people but the word of truth says to us that cannot be destroyed so this is what we put this as a deposit as our daily bread into our soul into our spirit and even right in our body once it gets in our soul and our spirit right it can be translated to our body but we need to put this deposit i i, I, I liken it to putting the word within our our bank in our head and our heart because ultimately it's a head and a heart the spiritual warfare um seen from the temporal perspective is a head and a heart campaign so let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition now some would say well you must be talking about obama you know you understand when i when i say that no obama is perhaps one of 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 many 
even though he is the one right now but that man of sin uh, that that man of sin that son of perdition right is is antichrist you understand is the whole antichrist agenda that many people in the world have been living the lie for um several hundreds of years <laughs> you understand for several hundreds of years right now according to the prophecy all right we call it because remember there's more than just one christianity a lot of people when they say christianity even we have said christianity and we have to qualify it you understand as as european um christianity or really romanist right if we're gonna go roman so-called catholic so-called christianities and even in the ancient days there were many different christianities as even many different there were 12 tribes of israel so so let's just overstand but it says uh, that our lord sprang from the tribe of judah you understand so though there were 12 tribes you understand and 12 um potential points of truth right and points of even grace and truth but it's through the tribe of Yehuda that the almighty chose so if you roll the dice on any of the other tribes you will fall short you understand but if it's on the tribe of Judah Moa and Bessas M Negeta Yehuda then truly you receive you understand truly you you have chosen the right or the right one has been chosen now we are called right we are chosen right um and we are now to demonstrate in our living walk that faith but we need to build up our faith and, and it's the word and it's the teaching and it's the hearing of the word it's the reading of the word the study of the word the 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 um memorization committing it to our heart learning it by heart so we're not like the fool who says in his heart there's no God. He can remember everything. You know we remember everything that everybody says. But we don't remember this divine word. Right. The same word which says that heaven shall pass, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word. So if, if that word is eternal. Then we would do well. To put it in our head. And in our heart. Alright brothers and sisters. So this is the chapter right here. That um. This is the chapter that we was thinking about. Here, here, here goes the park. Here, here's where it connects. As we was um, listening to, um, as we was checking out Alex Jones. On the Alex Jones channel, he had a clip. He had a clip, right? He had, he had a clip on his um, channel. Well, actually, he had a whole episode. It was a whole episode that he was dealing with uh whether modification, uh, actually, what was it called? The engineered storm of the century. And many of the facts that he was pointing to, we were aware of from other, from other, from other, not the sources, but other resources out there. Yeah, other resources out there, right? We was aware from other resources out there. And some of some of his resources are unique, are original. There's things that he's put out before anyone else. Some of the first um, 9/11, some of the first 9/11 Bush um, conspiracy kind of vids, police state vids were coming out from um, Alex Jones and, and from his site. So we we would like to give due credit, right? Due credit where credit where credit. Belong. Now, now, how 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 exactly does this all connect with what we're saying here in Thessalonians? Well, let's look at uh. Let's look at Thessalonians, Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, um, chapter two, right? Verses eight, nine, and 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 ten. Actually, we go eight to twelve, but let's begin with eight, where it says, and this is concerning this um, 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 Noah's flood. Can we call this a mini Noah's flood, a micro Noah flood? Um, 
one thing we know that storms have been engineered some call it geoengineered a lot of this technology was um, rediscovered or uncovered in the 50s it, it's been suppressed it's been kept um, secret and classified um, but much has been declassified many have um have spoken out many has presented evidence and facts of it and most of you will probably know this by the so-called harp in other words information on harp um no doubt is what you're most familiar with um and we had pointed out a vid right here on the haiti conspiracy with uh phil valentine that um that a one had passed out for collection of uh um, different vids that are out there and it's very good my brothers and sisters download this vid download other vids back them up um, recombine them you know with other vids you know put them together and, and put out your own vids you understand I mean once you put out your own vids partake right partake because a lot of folks ask what can they do there's a whole lot that you can do you understand but the first thing is to be founded and grounded on the rock so right here the rock for us is 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 that is that word in spirit and in truth so here we're in thessalonians right thessalonians second thessalonians chapter 2 at verse 8 it says beziam gize gita yesus beafu menfes yemiat afal si metam be megaletu it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord or Adonai actually Bamarinya in the Metzhaf Kedus in the book of the seven seals in the in the Rastafari Amharic Bible, the revised Amharic Bible of Kedamawi Hala Salasi doesn't just say Lord or Gita Adonai in the Hebrew it says Gita Iesus. So in your King James Bible, which is um, accurate in many other ways. Um, can we say that it suppresses the name of uh, Jesus? Yes. Well, here, this is a particular verse. You can, um, you know, you can make a note of that. Now it says, um, it says, uh, whom Adonai, the Lord, Adonai Yeshua shall consume, right? The wicked one shall be consumed with the spirit of his mouth with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming right the brightness of his coming now verse 9 and 10 are connected 9 and 10 says even him who's coming the one that yeshua right adonenu that adonai yeshua geta yesus the Lord Jesus will destroy our black Lord and Savior. The one who he's going to destroy it says even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Now, 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 now this is this this is very important. Now, this is very important, my brothers and sisters. This is very important because a lot of this weather, you know, this is why, like I mentioned earlier, that the Holy Spirit just was, was, was speaking to me, saying, stop attributing every storm, like a lot of the, the, the foolish um, nominal Christians do, to the lord or to god the god and father of our black lord and savior jesus christ the moshiach yeshua stop attributing these things and then i started to notice in the weather how they like to talk about wicked weather i said wow wicked weather do they know something are they blaspheming god the true god or do they know something that they are not telling us because they're not allowed to tell us or is it as the scripture says right here even him whose coming is after the working of satan of all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because why because they receive not the love of the truth 
that they might be saved. There you go right there. Um Yidnu Zen. Ya una tin fikar Salala tik abalu walamiat afu, ya arusu memt at uh beta amarata huluna be malik toch be m be malik toch malik toch be hasitenyoch dinok ochim be omet im a metalelo hulu in the seat anasarar no by the working so satan and the and and those who are the satanists those who are lied and something was interesting when i found out that um this uh um was it paul alinsky i think his name is something to that effect um 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 rules for radicals you might have heard about that that he actually dedicates that book to satan or to lucifer to lucifer it's like the albert pikey thing you understand what Albert Pike, he say that him and, and theirs are about Lucifer, right? Or Satan, Diabolos, and the enemy is Adonai. And that Adonai is the black one. So the whitewashed Jesus, they admit right there, is the devil, is Satan. Even Albert Pike admits that. But here's the interesting thing. That Satan would have would have uh, would have all power and signs and lying wonders right and 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 deceivableness of unrighteousness right to deceive those who are those who are perishing and those who are perishing you know a lot of folks i know a lot of ones be saying well how come that they be trying to reach certain ones family and friends and people they knew for a long time and ones who agreed with them on a lot of other things but they can't seem to reach them with the true, with the gospel, the good news, the Wengale, the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ. And it goes even so deep, even among so-called Rastas, you understand, who, who deny the true utterance, the true message of salvation, the true teaching of his majesty. We even see it there. Right. And one's one know why is this? And, and one's going crazy trying to but you see, you're going crazy because you're not admitting what this word says. You see, you need to admit what this word says, that there are many who don't receive, they have not received the love of the truth, so that they might be saved. Right? They, they, they are perishing. They are lost. Right. And, and, and they're not reachable by the truth because they, have not, they don't have a love of the truth. It's like they can hear what you're saying. They know what you're saying is true, but they get upset. You understand? And they take it out on you. And you and you thought, you know, you you thought you and them were cool. You understand? But see, forget about them. Take your eyes off of men and people, off of the flesh, and put your eye on the the the, the spirit and the truth of the word of the Father and the Son. Um, Kutroch um, Asara Aniski Asara Hulet, verse 11 to 12, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, Selezihim, Mikninyat, Beonetas Yalamenu Negergin, Beamet Desilacho, Yenebru Hulu, Ferdin and Dik Ebelu, Hesetin, Yamnu Zen, Egaziabiher, Yesih Tetin, Asarar, Ye likabachwal, ye likabachwal. For this, right, and for this cause, ha Elohim, Hashem Baruchu, that the true and the living God shall send them strong delusion. So, so the Almighty is going to respond now to those who don't have a love of the truth, and upon those who don't have a love of the truth, who are under the deceivableness of the of the power and the signs and the lying wonders of satan right that upon them god his father our father abba to abba abba kadus 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 shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie you understand that they should believe a lie that they should give a lie credibility and when you tell them the truth they're going to tell you the truth is incredible it's not believable the, that the truth is not believable so watch even how you say a lot of times word sound and power right here when you say oh that's incredible 
and, and all the facts point to don't don't deny you understand because then you become like those who who don't receive the love of the truth and therefore salvation salvation is not possible for you so so we recognize that that grace of god is connected with the truth of god this is a half of the story concerning the gospel of grace that's often ignored they'll point to grace 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 even though they'll read the first and I think John was at 316 around there. They'll read the verse where it says grace and truth. The Lord came um, through Moses. Torah came through Moses, but grace and truth. Right. They'll say the law is no more. But it says that the law is our Torah is our schoolmaster uh, until Christ be until Christ be born, until Christ become in us. You know, until we come to a true Christ consciousness according to this word and see the reality in all of its living color. Verse 12 says that they all might be damned, right? That they all might be damned who believed, who admitted, who gave credit and credibility, right? Not to the truth. So ones who don't believe the truth say the truth is incredible. They say the truth is incredible. This is very credible. You understand? Even in the, these weather, uh, uh, strange weather patterns. Now, ones will say, are you saying that this is not a, a, a true God-made storm? We don't know. We don't know, but we're not going to just try to go out after it and, and then add to it just, just our ideas to, to pontificate a point. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. You, you're going to find that they're using this storm right now, even in the politics. They're saying that this storm is good for President Obama and for the Democrats. I mean, they can use this storm. It's saying that power could go out for, for wide areas of territory in, in one of the most populated um, um, areas of the country. Right. The east, the, the eastern seaboard. You understand, and I know there's a lot of the brothers and the sisters out there who recognize this is where we are um, located presently, and you're praying for I and I, and, and, and we are also, our prayers are for, for you all as well in whatever situation. You understand, um, we don't fear, you know, those things because we know where we stand in him. You understand, this is why we have to know our true ID in the son of god in the bane ha elohim and and not to take pleasure in unrighteousness is not to call the true things of god and of man incredible because it doesn't go along with our particular you understand faulty world view this is what the repentance the change of mind is 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 really all about But in Yagin, but we begita yete wede dachu wende mochoi hulgize sile nante egziabi herin lena mesagina gid alabi egziabi her be menfesa kedus eunetinim be mamen le madan in the be kurat. But we, I and I, are bound to give thanks, Miskana, thanks and praise always to the sustainer for you, beloved brethren, brethren of Adonai, because Ha Elohim hath from the beginning, get that word right there, he has from the beginning chosen chosen you to salvation through sanctification through being set apart of the spirit and the belief and the imnet and the amen and the credibility of the truth where to he called you by our gospel, by I and I gospel, to the obtaining of the glory of our master, 
Yeshua Harmoshia, Jesus Christus, Getachin, Jesus Christus, Asilla Zihim, Ye Getachinin, Ye Jesus Christus, Sinna Kubr, Kubr, Le Magnet, Bewen Gelachinat Arachu. Therefore, brethren and sisterin, stand fast, stand firm, and hold the the traditions which you have been taught of the King of Kings and His Christ, whether by word or our epistle in Gdia, so under more choice and tachu kumu bek alach nimbihon wine be melikatachin yet marachu hutin aweg yazu. Yazu. And now, now, our Lord, our Adonai, Adonenu Yeshua HaMoshiach himself, and God, even our Father, Abba, Abba Kedus, 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 which have loved us, have loved I and I, and have given us everlasting, eternal consolation and good hope through grace. See how grace and truth, this is also my grace and truth. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Arasu getachin Jesus Christos in Naya Wedden Bez Egam Yez Lalamina Met Nanat Begonim Tesfa Yeseten Egziavihir Abatachin Lebachuhun Yats Nanut Yats Nanut Be Begom Serana Bekal Hulu Yats Nuachu